today? The colors. We're using colors to make bath bombs. We're going to make space bath bombs today using a few simple ingredients and some cosmetic grade mica for a bit of extra spark. You're going to need some scales and we're going to make a few different colors so we're going to use several different containers to mix them separately and then we'll smoosh them together right Elizabeth we're going to use sodium bicarbonate some citric acid and we're going to use four different colors of cosmetic grade mica that we thought would make good space colors and we may or may not need a little bit of corn flour we'll have to see how well the bath bombs stick together first and Elizabeth what do you have show us Elizabeth has some lavender essential oil. We're going to add a few drops of it so that our bath bombs smell amazing. Okay, let's get started. Okay, we're going to start by measuring 100 grams of sodium bicarbonate. You're going to need your kitchen scales. Place a container onto the scales, and then you're gonna to have to zero them out so that it resets, and even with your container on the scales, it weighs zero. Let's see. There we go. It doesn't sense the weight of the measuring cup now. Okay, Elizabeth, when you're ready, scoop 100 grams of sodium bicarbonate into our measuring cup. Just over halfway there, Elizabeth. Just a little more, almost there. Okay, so we have 100 grams of sodium bicarbonate. We're going to make several different batches because we're using different colors and we don't want them all to mix. So we're going to pour this 100 grams of sodium bicarbonate into our first container and then we're going to measure it out again. Go. Yep, ready, steady, go. Pour it into the bowl. Okay, once you have your 100 grams of sodium bicarbonate measured into your containers, you are ready to add your citric acid. We are going to use between 50 and 75 grams of citric acid for this. Um, we find that if you add 75 grams, it gives your bath bombs extra fizz and bubbles. So that's what we're going to use today. Um, again, we're only using three different containers because we're going to use a several different colors and we don't want them to mix in the bowls we want them to be separate and then we'll kind of clump them together into our bath bombs after but you can use one bowl if you just want to use one color um, but if you're going to do them separate like ours then measure 100 grams of sodium bicarbonate into each container and then between 50 and 75 grams of citric acid into each container separately Okay, so Elizabeth, when you're ready, we are going to pour some citric acid into our measuring cup. Again, um, you need to zero your scales out. Just turn these back on because they've gone to sleep. There we are, zero. And Elizabeth is ready to use our spoon to put our citric acid into our measuring cup. We need 75 grams, Elizabeth. Sixty-six grams. One more scoop. Let's see. Stop. There it is. Perfect. 
perfect. Wow. Um, High five. Put it in. Now we're going to put it into this one. That one. Wow. Good job. Wow. Okay, one more time for our third bowl. Sixty-five, just a little more. Let's see. Ooh, seventy-four. Oh, it's going down to seventy-three. Let's see. Add just a tiny, tiny bit more. There we go, Elizabeth. Okay. Now, Elizabeth, you can pour the measuring cup into this bowl. Great job. So there we have it. We have three separate bowls with 100 grams of sodium bicarbonate and 75 grams of citric acid. Elizabeth, if you could put the lid onto the citric acid and we'll be ready to move on to the next step. Okay, now that Elizabeth has added our sodium bicarb and our citric acid to each bowl, we can combine the dry ingredients using a whisk. There's equal measures and exactly the same ingredients, so there's no risk of really contaminating anything or transferring anything um, between the containers. We're just gonna kind of give it a quick little whisk. So we're going to use cosmetic grade mica to color them. Um, you can use a couple drops of food coloring, but be aware that the liquid will start a reaction with your bath bombs. So you really only want to add um, a couple drops of a really strong liquid food coloring. Um, otherwise, you'll find that it's fizzing hot, just like it would in the bath. Elizabeth's going to add purple to this batch. Nice job, Elizabeth. There's more purple. Elizabeth's going to add some blue mica to our second batch. see the shimmering effect that this bronze mica has it really has an incredible effect in the bath and is definitely one of my favorites Okay, so these are the three space colors that we have so far for our bath bombs. Um, you'll notice that we haven't used the black mica yet. What we're going to do is first add our drops of our essential oil that is going to give our bath bombs a little bit of fragrance. And then after we've mixed that in, we're going to add just a few flecks of the black mica into each bath bomb. So it doesn't really change the look of the bath bomb, but when you put it into the water, it has like a black bubbling effect. We are adding a couple of drops of our lavender essential oil to the mix now and you'll see that it does kind of add a little bit of moisture to it but it doesn't start off a reaction which is really helpful. We have our lavender essential oil in each of our mixtures and now we are ready to combine the wet and dry ingredients and then we'll see if we need to add any more liquid or if we need to add any corn flour to help our bath bombs stick together. So go ahead, Elizabeth, when you're ready and start mixing. Our mixtures are still kind of dry, so we're going to add a couple drops of water into them, which will start a fizzing reaction, I imagine, but um, we need a little bit of moisture in these or they're never going to stick together. So let's see how it goes. Wow! 
as you can see, we do have a little bit of a fizzing reaction, which we're not really too bothered about. It's just a little bit, um, but you can see that they're going to be excellent fizzers in the bath. We're just going to mix those couple drops of water in to blue. create just enough moisture in this that it sticks together, but we don't want it to be wet. It does need to be pretty dry. I think this is just about perfect. <laughs> Now is the moment of truth. I think we have the correct amount of moisture in our mixtures, but just in case they don't stick together very well, you can use a little bit of corn flour to help with that. So Elizabeth, why don't you start squishing that and see if it sticks together at all. You're going to have to compress it really hard. You can use a mold, um, which you can buy on Amazon to make them round or heart shaped or whatever shape you'd like. In our case, we're just gonna kind of squish them ourselves so they make like space rocks. you're looking for this is what we're talking about it sticks to itself just a bit but it's also very crumbly okay so what we're going to do now is take a little bit of each of these three bath bomb mixes and try and squish them into our own bath bomb shape Half an hour in the oven and they're perfectly dry. I'm ready for the bath. Good job, Elizabeth. High five. In the bath. Let's go try it out. Just like space, huh, Elizabeth? <laughs> wow. Please like and subscribe, and we hope to see you again soon. Yeah, soon.